Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. So this is my rooftop in Bangladesh. I am in Bangladesh right now. Today's video I want to talk to you one of the biggest signs of the coming of the Mahdi, the end of time that Jali Yajuj and Mahjuj. But in particularly we'll talk about the Mahdi because uh, we talk about the Mahdi in this channel a lot. So I've decided to talk about this sign in light of the coming of the Mahdi. Allah has uh, uh, commanded Rasulullah SAW to convey to us the news of the coming of the Mahdi and we know there are many signs of his coming. We see uh, there will be turmoil, uh, we will be seeing uh, Malhamatul Kubra taking place and many other things. Uh, we will see the end of time sign for example uh, that the rain will drop in abundance but there will be no uh, crops growing from that rain, no benefit from that rain. So there are a lot of signs that talks about the end of time, the coming of the Jal, the coming of uh, the Mahdi and what not. But a lot of the time when we talk about uh, Malhama, uh, a lot of people they don't really want to pay attention. They say, well, well, you know what, we are doing okay, WW3 is not going to take place. I mean, who will go and fight, right? Uh, they are saying this is uh, something we should not be even um, humoring each other about. But the <coughs> matter of the fact is that uh, the coming of the Mahdi, one of the biggest signs would be the Malhama that will take place and that Constantinople, right, uh, Istanbul will be under attack. Not the, the entire Turkey that we know today necessarily because the Hadith uh, specifically mentioned about uh, Kustantiniyati, means the, the, the place uh, Istanbul. So what is that sign I want to talk to you about today, okay, in, in terms of the coming of the Mahadi. Now this is the sign that I want to talk to you today. Uh, before I tell you the specific details about the sign, I want to tell you a few things. Uh, recent development. So in the beginning, we have seen how Russia, they were planning to invade Ukraine. And uh, they kept it to only Ukraine then. There were some other uh, uh, speculations going on that they will in fact not only invade Ukraine, but they are going to go ahead and invade perhaps other European countries, uh, especially Poland and whatnot, Romania and those uh, small, small countries. Now, Thomas, uh, Lindsay Thomas, okay, I think, I believe her name is Lindsay Thomas. She is from uh, United States. She is, uh, I think, uh, one of the uh, security uh, intelligence officers for U.S. Um, CIA and whatnot. I think CIA, she is from CIA. Now she is saying that Putin, okay, Vladimir Putin, he is not only planning to only attack Ukraine and perhaps other European countries in the coming uh, years, for example, Poland, Romania, Greece, uh, other countries, uh, Turkmenistan, uh, Kazakhstan, uh, all of these uh, places uh, in that region will be under Putin, uh, Russia's control. And she basically said that um, Russia, Putin, he wants us to travel back to the time of Russian Empire. And she, this is what she literally said, that Putin wants us to go back all the way to the time when Russia, Russian Empire used to rule the world. So when we talk about the Mahdi, right, uh, the coming of the Mahdi, we know that the Muslims will be fighting the Mahdi. And the Mus uh, sorry, the Muslim will be fighting with the Mahdi, uh, the uh, the Romans. And we also say that look, the Romans will fight the Muslims, and then after that, the Jal will appear, and that Mahdi will uh, conquer Istan uh, Istanbul, Constantinople, Constantinople. He will go there, and his army will open the door. Uh, Seventy thousand children of Bani Ishaq will give that bid and whatnot. Remember the Hadith? I mentioned the Hadith in other videos. Today I just want to talk to you because I found this to be very, very interesting. So we saw, we talk about those things, right? And then a lot of brothers have different ways of uh, interpreting this hadith. They said, well, you know what? Uh, Istanbul was already concurred, so there should be another um, um, conquest of Istanbul. Some other brother said that, no, it is already done. We will not see uh, Istanbul being um, concurred by the Muslim, by the Mahdi again. Rather, it will be that uh, the, the land, Kustantiniyati, will not have Muslims, uh, Muslim ruler. Rather, it will be the Mahdi and his army who would go and bring it uh, under Islamic um, uh, 
you know, a khilafa. That's what uh, some other people say. So now this uh, lady, Lindsay Greenf uh, Greenfield, I, I believe her name, she in fact say, she said today, uh, subhanAllah, she is uh, echoing what the hadith says. Okay, she is echoing exactly what the hadith said. And she basically said that um, Putin, he doesn't want only to uh, concur these lands that I mentioned, Turkmenistan, Poland, Romania, Russia, sorry, uh, Romania, um, Greece, and, uh, and those places. But she said at the very end that Putin wants to concur part of Turkey. My question to you, and Imran Hussein, if you follow him, he said many, many times, oh, no, no, no. Russia is a good country, Russia, look at them, they're very, very religious and they follow Islam, sorry, Christianity, they practice, uh, you know, Christian faith and they do not practice you know, LGBT and things like that. And so for him, uh, Ibn Hussein, Russia is a masoom country, is an innocent country with no ulterior motive. Uh, all they want is peace, all they want is good for Muslims. I'm not saying they do not want good for Muslims, they do, however, their ultimate goal, as the hadith indicates, that the, the place Kostantaniyati will have to be concurred. And that is because after uh, getting this statement from Lindsay uh, Thomas or Greenfield, I'm convinced that the Russian Empire, they are actually now going to... Uh, some noise coming. <laughs> they are now actually going to uh, invade Turkey especially uh, Kostantiniyati. Now, you may argue, brother, Turkey, uh, Ru Turkey makes a lot of money, billions of dollars from Russian tourists coming to Istanbul, coming to Turkey. Uh, why should Russia attack uh, Turkey? Well, the reason for that is because you can see uh, in a different angle uh, that the fact that Russian tourists are heaving in uh, Istanbul and many other parts of Turkey is because of uh, the reason that they are actually trying, or maybe, who knows, uh, to settle in Turkey. Okay, they're probably looking at Turkey and thinking, well, this is a nice place. This is a historical place. This is a uh, important place for the Christians to flourish for the end of time. Because remember, Turkey's um, Christianity, Orthodox Christianity, was backed up by the Byzantine Empire. In other words, Turkey does have Sorry, Russia does have the Christian Orthodox Christian in uh, in Russia. They do have the, uh, the the root coming from the Byzantine Empire that the Muslims fought in the past. So they know their past. The Orthodox Christian in in in, uh, in uh, Turkey uh, in Russia, they know their past. So they might also, you know, come to know the Hadith that talks about uh, how Muslims will be fighting, how the Mahdi will appear. I don't know. Maybe they they will. You know, maybe they will, who knows, and maybe they will know the hadith, and so they may be preparing themselves uh, for the end of time, and uh, for the Mahdi, for the Muslims, right? Uh, that is a great possibility. Now, the uh, scholars, or the modern Muslim, uh, you know, people who, you know, Shaykh and whatnot, they talk about Russia in a positive light. I want you to really be very, very wary about Putin. Okay, put in back in the year 2000, early 2001, when he met Bush, he did not have any plan about NATO. He never had any excuse uh, to go after Ukraine or any other country because of NATO. It came in his mind over time. And I said many, many times in my other videos, for the WW3 to take place, all you need is a crazy leader. Okay, and the, the reason I say you should be worried about is because I think Putin is crazy. <laughs> Wallahi, like if he does think or if he does believe that so former Soviet Union can be brought back, uh, he, is, he is dangerous because he has thousands of armies, you know, at his disposal. And so when he will invade, of course, there will be a conflict or that would lead to WW3. All right, all right. So the, the point here is that you need to change this narrative uh, that, you know, Turkey somehow is a good country. If you're following Sheikh Ibn Anasen, wallah, you need to change uh, this narrative and, and, and believe that uh, Putin is not somebody we should think is a good friend. At the same time, we have seen Putin talking about, highly actually, talking highly about the Muslims and he is 
defending Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in his state when he said, Oh, Prophet, you should, uh, you know, the French people, they should not be uh, painting, uh, you know, a picture, a cartoon of uh, Prophet and insult him. So he is playing a very smart game. Now, the other thing that I also want to make sure that you understand, which is probably the most important part of this video, and that is that, dear brothers and sisters, Turkey, uh, sorry, Russia, I'm mixing up with Turkey and Russia. Russia right now, they are in Syria. The only barrier that Russia has to invade Turkey, the only country is Ukraine. Because Ukraine, they have Turk. The Turks in Ukraine, they are um, pro-Turkey, they will defend Ukraine and they are pro-Turkey. Now, the other barrier Russia has in, in, term, in terms of invading Turkey is the Black Sea. But Black Sea, they are uh, not going to be a problem because Russia has warships stationed in the coastal area of Syria. If Turkey, or sorry, if Russia wants to invade Turkey or if they want to attack or try to destabilize uh, Turkey, they can then easily, or lie, very easily, uh, come to Syria and e easily invade um, invade uh, Turkey and meantime they will take care of Ukraine at the same time. The point here is that we are now in a situation like just after the COVID-19 you know we thought maybe life will be back to normal and whatnot but look at what is happening right now. Uh, Putin uh, we do not know what he is gonna do in the coming days but we know one thing for sure he is somebody who is planning to bring about big changes in Europe, including Turkey, that could well trigger WW3, and that uh, we might see the Malhama that we talk about taking place, not the Malhama of, of Mahdi, that means war, right? WW3. And I said that the Mahdi Dajjal cannot come, okay, they cannot appear unless uh, WW3 takes place. That's my narrative. Okay, and I said this many, many times in the past. The only thing that is stopping the coming of the Mahdi, the Jalu Yajar Majuj, and the end of time is WW3. After WW3, situation will change for the worse and forever. And then we will have no way turning back in time. It will be it will be the end of the humanity. So, the the um, um, the point that I want you to take home today from this video is that, dear and sisters, we need to be prepared for anything. Make dua for to Allah Azza wa Jal because uh, we are going to be living in a very, very uh, precarious time, to say the least. And the situation will only get much, much worse. And we hope that, inshallah, um, the Muslims will be victorious at the end of the time, at the end of the day, um, by the mercy, the rahmah of Allah Azza wa Jal. Uh, this is my room <laughs> where I am using right now in Bangladesh. Inshallah, I'll be coming back to Canada. I'll be uh, maybe in the next uh, couple of months. I'm doing a few things here. I still need to get things done before I go back to ba Canada. Uh, but before I go to back to Canada, I might be uh, going to Australia. So um, I have some travel plan. Make dua for me, inshallah. Make dua for you, for all the brothers and sisters. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.